Stephen A., let's focus on that fourth and goal call. Did that cost Aaron Rodgers a trip to the Super Bowl? I believe it did. I believe it did. And, and I'm, what, I'm, what I mean when I say that it cost him, meaning it eradicated any chance that he had mm -hmm. of pulling it off. That's all I mean by that. There were a lot of plays that uh, preceded that, and we get all of that. We understand that this is a 60-minute football game, and we get it. We also understand that Tom Brady and his greatness and at age 43 and all that he accomplished, that's the, stuff, that's the kind of stuff that we'll be talking on about as the show progresses. But Mike Pett, uh, I'm sorry, not Mike Pett, and even though he was awful, awful as a defensive coordinator, he was awful. Um, Matt LaFleur, we're going back to LaFleur. We're not going LaFleur. We're going LaFleur. Right. Just for the purpose of the day. Stephen if, it so here. if it sounds disrespectful to hell with it, Matt LaFleur. They hit LaFleur last Lafleur, night. Matt LaFleur, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> were, I, I mean, they, listen, they, this man, it was a straight choke job by the coach. If this were a player, we would call it a choke job. Matt LaFleur choked, played coach scared out of his damn mind, looked in over his head, and oh, by the way, at the end of the day, ended up reminding you why it was questionable why he was named the head coach of the Green Bay Packers to begin with. Because for those of you who don't remember, this was the man who presided over the 27th ranked offense in the National Football League in the Tennessee Titans when he was hired as the coach of the Green Bay Packers. In a day and age when the Eric Bieniemies, who's number one in practically every category, can't get a job, Matt LaFleur is the head coach of a team quarterbacked by Aaron Rodgers. You started off the season screwing him over because you had a succession plan that you put right in front of his face by drafting Jordan Love, and you ended the season by taking the ball out of the hands of a guy who is about to be named League MVP, flat out balling, 45 touchdowns, five interceptions. Listen, let me tell you something. I'm so disgusted with what I saw from Matt LaFleur yesterday. It's just inexcusable. We walked into this game. Let's call it what it is. Molly, Max, we walked into this game. What were we thinking? We want to see Aaron Rodgers get Tom Brady. Mm -hmm. We'll see Aaron Rodgers get Tom Brady. Now, if, if, if a Steve Kerr or a John Paxson or somebody, Max, takes the, the, the winning jump shot, who gave him the ball? It was MJ. You make that call. You don't sit up. Even Phil Jackson knew better than to sit up there and have somebody else make the call other than Jordan. You give the man the ball and you say, take me to the promised land. But because of analytics... And all of these folks out there talking about probabilities and all of this other stuff about your chances of, 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 of converting a fourth and goal at the eight-yard line. God forbid that I give it to the man. Now, listen, I'm not letting Kevin King off the hook. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. This cornerback right here, you, it, it should be difficult for him to walk the street of any NFL city. His performance was an embarrassment. Gave up the touchdown to Mike Evans to begin the game. Gave up the touchdown at the end of the first half to Scotty Miller, letting him get behind you when there's only eight seconds on a, or six seconds on the clock. And everybody has seen it, whether it was against the Raiders or throughout his history. Tom Brady takes chances in situations like that. And then the pass interference call when you grabbed on a dude's jersey, which ultimately led to Tom Brady them being able to convert a first down. But Matt LaFleur, at the end of the day, it's your job to oversee the team. It's your job to let defensive coordinator Mike Pitt know that you can't have a cornerback in single coverage. You've got no help over the top. And it's also Matt LaFleur's responsibility to recognize the fact that I've got this bad man, Aaron Rodgers, and I'm going down with the ship. He coached scared. He choked. And at the end of the day, this will be a lasting memory as far as I'm concerned. I got more to say, but the floor is yours. He did choke. He absolutely choked. If by he you mean Aaron Rodgers, why are you trying to shift Aaron, the blame Aaron off Rogers of Aaron Rodgers? Read my lips. Aaron Rodgers choked. Whoa. Aaron Rodgers choked. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.